Start. Our topic today is leukocytosis, leukocytopenia. Who are uh, leukocytes? I mean, what is leukocytes? Leukocytes is a uh, white blood cells, immune system, what we need for protection. Leukocytes normally account from four till nine. In some other books, they get at to 11, normally. But in general, from four till nine. Multiplied by 10, powered by nine, not erythrocyte, erythrocyte powered by 12. Yes, leukocyte by nine. Then, as I said, leukocytes is white blood cells, what we need for protection. And we know that leukocytes, they, they are different cells. We divide them into granulocytes, agranulocytes. According to what? According to presence or absence of granules inside, inside them. Granulocytes, agranulocytes. Granulocytes are basophil, eosinophil, neutrophils. Agranocytes, monocytes, lymphocytes. Why we need different cells? Because foreign bodies and microbes are different. That's why we need different cells. Right. Later we will know about every cell, why we need every cell. <clears throat> Disorders of leukocyte number two. More than or less than? More than we call it leukocytosis. Less than leukocytopenia or leukopenia, as you like. Now look, please. This is very important information. When leukocytosis is more than, I, I mean, uh, when leukocytes more than means leukocytosis, it's not, it's not pathology. It's normal when we have infection or pathology or any inflammation. Understood? If we have high number leukocyte, in case of infection, inflammation, damage, it's normal. Sure, why? Because we need for, for protection, normal. But if we have leukocytes very, very high, yes, this is, could be abnormal, because it could be cancer, leukemia, like this, understood? No, no. So leukocytosis, when the leukocytes more than nine or more than 11, it could be due to infection, inflammation, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> if you note, in leukocytes, basophil, they take place just zero to one percentage. Eosinophil, one to five. The most, uh, the most uh, big number of leukocyte cells is neutrophil. They have about 70 percentage of leukocyte. Monocyte, just 10. Lymphocyte, about 20. Uh, it means, look, please, I, I put here numbers. One, two, three, four, five. What does it mean? It means the cells which more affect leukocyte number. First cell is neutrophil. If neutrophil normal, so we will see le lymphocyte. Could be due to lymphocyte. If lymphocyte, so monocyte, then eosinophil, then basophil. <clears throat> like this. Uh, how, uh, how to know due to what we have leukocytosis? We will take blood analysis like this. We call this leukogram analysis. This analysis, leukogram, when he shows all white blood cells. For example, the patient has leukocytes number 15. 15. It's more or less or normal? More. 15. Leukocytes, 15. And he has neutrophil, I, uh, as I said, first uh, what we see, we see neutrophil. First what we check. Neutrophil, he has 65 percentage. Neutrophil. Is it normal or what? Neutrophil 65 percentage. We said the, the 67. So might be this normal, yes? Don't be hurry. First what you have to do, you have to measure to calculate absolute number of neutrophil. Then you will decide, is it normal or not? How, how to do? You take this, 65. Multiply by leukocyte number of this patient, 15. And divide by 100. Please calculate anyone. 65, multiply by 15, divide by 100. How much it will be? <coughs> Sorry. 
9.7, yes? 9. We said that maximum about 5.5, normal absolute number. So neutrophil is absolutely high. So he has, he has leukocytosis, absolutely neutrophilia. What does neutrophilia mean? Neutrophilia means increased number of neutrophils. Understood? By the same example, we can, we can check other cells. For example, uh, he has leukocytes, uh, he has leukocytes 15 also, but he has basophil, basophil 5 percentage. Sure, it's uh, more, yes, because basophil just one maximum. He has five, five multiply by 15, divide by 100. Look, basophil absolute number just zero to 0 0.01. In this case, it will be uh, more. Point. Yes. So he has he has leukocytosis due to absolute baza basophilia. Basophilia means increased number of basophil. If increased number of eosinophil, it will be eosinophilia. So basophilia, eosinophilia, neutrophilia, mono. Cytosis, not philia. Monocytosis means increased number of monocytes. Lymphocytosis, increased number of lymphocytes. What it gives to me, why it's helpful or helpless, it's very helpful for doctor. Because every one of these cells, they are directed for special types of infection or damage. For example, basophil, in allergic reaction, first type. Ana, uh, yes, anaphylactic shock, bronchial asthma, like this. Uh, who has urticaria, for example, also. Basophil. Eosinophil. Allergic reaction in general, all types of allergic reaction, or parasitic infection. Parasitic infection. Neutrophil, especially in bacterial infection, coccus, coccus, especially with uh, which causing pussy infection, pus, pus, pus infection. Uh, for example, Streptococcus meningococcus, pneumococcus, and so on. <coughs> if monocytosis, monocytes high, so we will think about measles infection, measles, redness. Uh, uh, infectious mononucleosis, uh, tissue, in, uh, tissue destruction, for example, myocardial infarction, because monocytes are macrophage. Hey, macrophage. So in tissue destruction, we have destructed cell, we need to phagocyte them, so monocytosis. Lymphocytosis. We know that lymphocytes, they are TB, yes? TB, cellular immunity and humoral. Lymphocytosis in general could be in viral infections, tumors, fungal infections, tuberculosis, brucellosis, organ transplant. Organ transplant, when it's incompetent, organ transplant. Is it helpful or not for doctor? Very helpful. For example, I have patient, I did, he has fever, vomiting, diarrhea, loss weight, measurement. I did blood analysis, leukocytosis, leukocyte uh, analysis, leukogram. I found eosinophilia. I will think he has allergy or parasitic infection, yes? But suddenly he said, oh, I was in Africa yesterday, I come today. In Africa I was. Africa could be parasitic infection, yes? Because in Africa, more parasitic infection, worms, malaria, and so on, like this. So it's very helpful. Uh, also, there is uh, many cases like uh, good examples. For example, uh, patient, he has loss of sensation. Loss of sensation, we call it anesthesia, anesthesia or hypostasia. Loss of sensation, also loss of weight and something diarrhea. We did analysis. He also get, get eosinophilia, eosinophilia. We will think about allergy or 
parasite infection. But allergy is not, uh, yes, it's not uh, similar. Why? Because he has loss of sensation. There is no aller allergy with loss of sensation. How we think? Then we discover that he has worm disease, worm infection in small intestine, which eat vitamin B12. Folic acid. And vitamin B12, neurological, yes? But that's why he lost uh, sensation. <laughs> Understood? Yes, rather, it's very important. This, very important. <clears throat> uh, now tell me, please, if the patient has appendicitis, which type of uh, leukocytes we will find? Appendicitis and a similar to pus infection. Pus infection. Yes, neutrophilia, you will find. Yes. Now, especially about neutrophilia, what I wanted to note about something. Something. Yes, this. Look, please. Usually in leukogram, they also show, except these cells, they show neutrophil, especially young cells and young cells and mature cells. I mean immature cells and mature cells. Immature cells are metamelocyte, band cells. Mature cells are segmented neutrophils. Segmented neutrophil. If you noted, I put line here. In right side segmented, in left side band cells and metamelocyte cells. Why we need this? If the patient has infection and we did leukogram and we found uh, neutrophilia, high number, and metamelocytes, it must be zero. Band cells, maximum one to two percentage. But we find in this patient that metamelocyte, there is one or two. Band cells become more. How we call it? And is it good or bad? Again, example. Patient has infection. We did leukogram. We found neutrophilia. And we found in neutrophils, immature cells become, become appear, metamelocyte. And band cells are become more. But they, they, these cells are immature cells. Understood? Is it good or bad? And how we call this case? Have you ever heard about leukocytosis shift to lift? You haven't. Now you will hear. <laughs> this we call leukocytosis, neutrophilia, shift to lift. What does it mean, shift to lift? It means that from left side, immature cells become appear. Is it good or bad? It's good. It's good. Why? Because of three uh, causes. First one, it's good. It means that our bone marrow is working. Are you agree with me or not? From where we get immature cells? From bone marrow. So it means that bone marrow working. Next. It means that bone marrow responsible for infection. It means he feel that we have infection and he become doing cells. These cells they mature, they become in the future mature and they will protect. Understood? They will fight. And third, it shows to us or to doctors that this patient has has infection. So for diagnosis, also good. Understood? Why shift to lift is good? Shift to lift is good because it shows that bone marrow working and he's responsible. And we, we are protecting. It means that we have infection for diagnosis. In some rare cases, and this is bad, in some rare cases, and this is bad, some patient could have zero, these immature cells, and some little number of mature segmented neutrophils. We call this shift to right. Shift to right, good or bad? Bad. Because shift to right means that there is no immature cells. It means that bone marrow doesn't work. Bone, bone marrow is destroyed. No response and infection is developing in our body. Understood? It could be due to some bone marrow problem, uh, damage, and so on. <clears throat> I hope you understand what does shift to left and shift to right means. But usually in any infection, any people who has no problem with bone marrow, usually they get leukocytosis shift 
to lift. Understood? Usually. Uh, <clears throat> this, is, this is about leukocytosis. Leukocytosis. Now, short, very short, very fast about leukocytopenia. Leukocytopenia. Leukocytopenia, bad or bad? Sure, bad. Because immune system uh, weak. You have to know about leukocytopenia. It could be hereditary and acquired. Can you imagine? Hereditary, yes, there is some rare cases about hereditary leukocytopenia due to hereditary problem in bone marrow in stem cells. Uh, there is one uh, also rare case of hereditary leukocytopenia. We call it syndrome Chidayak Higash. Chidayak Higash, Japanese scientist, he discovered this. What is this syndrome, Chidayak Higash? Syndrome of lazy leukocytes. Lazy leukocytes. Leukocytes, they have microtubules which uh, giving them properties to move. In this case, they have a hereditary problem in these tubules. They cannot move. Leukocytes have to move or not? Yes, yeah, sure, they have to move to find microorganism to fight. In this case, he cannot. Uh, there is other hereditary disease also, leukocytosis, when leukocytes cannot adhere to endothelial cells. Why they need to adhere? They have to adhere then to cross the wall of vessel to tissue. Where is microorganism? There's a due to absence of uh, selectins receptors, what we need for adhesion. <clears throat> this hereditary types of leukocytopenia. Uh, ah, there is other hereditary types when they cannot leave even bone marrow. They cannot leave bone marrow to blood. Can you imagine? About acquire, acquire leukocytopenia, it could be due to bone marrow damage, bone marrow cancer, I mean leukemia, uh, or using some drugs which inhibit bone marrow uh, formation of uh, blood. And you have to know also something very important. When we use some drug against some infection, so this cell which against this infection will be inhibited. Repeat again. When we use medicine drug for some infection, our cell which is uh, fighting against this it will be inhibited. For example, if I use drugs for allergic reaction first type, which uh, cell will be inhibited? Bazo, bazo, bazofil, first type allergic reaction. First type allergic reaction. If I use anti allergic drugs in general, so eosinophil will be inhibited. If I use anti parasitic in, uh, drugs, eosinophil. Yes. If I use antibiotics, antibiotics, nitrophil will be inhibited. Anti tuberculosis drugs, lymphocytes, and so on. Understood this? This is what I wanted to explain for you about leukocytosis and leukocytopenia, and thank you very much for your attention. <clears throat>